I think it goes against the girl code to let a girl walk out in something that I know looks bad. If her closure is on her forehead, why can't you just tell her like, you know honey, no, let us just look up a little tutorial, let us fix you up so we can both be great. what is up and welcome back to my channel it is your girl Jennifer Ross back at it again with yet another video and today's video as you have probably seen by the title is gonna be another episode of my new series girl talk today we are gonna be talking about the girl quote I basically wanted to address this topic because what is the girl talk series without the girl code i mean i need to explain that i think i feel like because sometimes nowadays i just hear certain stories in which i think like what happened to the girl code and it's not only about like not dating your besties ex to me it goes further than that there are more things that fall under the girl code that are not really respected anymore these days and i do think as girls we need to stand there for each other we need to stand up for each other we need to protect each other we need to support each other and that's what the girl code is all about for me so if you are interested give this video a thumbs up and also make sure you subscribe to my channel in case you're not already and we are gonna go ahead and get into this video So the first point is to wait until your friend is inside her house before you drive off, okay? Uh, this is different during the day, okay? During the day, it's completely fine to just drop her off and drive off. Let's say, for example, um, you went out and you dropped your friend off in front of her house and you just drive off. I mean, what is the point? Like, what is the extra 30 seconds to wait until she is inside? I mean, I don't understand why you would drive off and just let your friend be there. I used to live in a very bad neighborhood and all my friends that would come and drop me off, they would always tell me, like, Jenny, you need to move out of this neighborhood because it's not safe. There were like people walking around there constantly. I used to live close to the red light district by the way, um, and it was a very unsafe neighborhood. But all my friends used to wait like right in front of the door until they saw me go inside and close the door, then they would drive off. You are already safe in the car, nothing is gonna happen to you, but the person, how, how bad would you feel if you dropped your friend off for her to be safe and in the seconds that you are driving off, something happens to her? Like no, just, you already came there, like what is the extra 30 seconds? Just wait until your friend is inside and safe. So the next one is to tell your friend if she has a bad outfit on, if it looks bad on her, if you see a little malfunction, like what are you guys friends for? I mean, isn't that what you're friends for? Like tell your girlfriend that it looks wrong to change it up. I mean, I expect that from my friends. And I don't think that it's, I think it goes against the girl code to let a girl walk out in something that I know looks bad or that I know is malfunctioning. Like we ain't doing that over here, sis, no. Just tell your friend like that looks bad, you need to change it up. If the weave tracks are showing, like tell her no honey, change it up, we need to, we need to cover up those tracks. You know, other things that, that malfunction all the time like closures and things. If her closure is on her forehead, why can't you just tell her like, you know, honey, no, let us just look up a little tutorial. Let us fix you up so we can both be great. Honey, girl supporting girls, like help your friend. Don't let them go out all malfunctioning, okay? We ain't doing that. Mm -mm. The next one is to be the amazing photographer that you wish you had. Make bomb ass pictures for your friends okay make bomb ass pictures for your friends and if they are not the best photographer like you want to keep that instagram game high like you know coach them tell them like what your angles are and also help your friend out help her with the bomb pose tell her like to suck that belly up push the booty out like what 
just help each other out like don't let your friend just stand there as a stick like be the the good photographer and be the director like tell her how to pose help them get the perfect picture because isn't that what you would want for your picture as well like treat your friends the same way that you want them to treat you when I think about the way so the next one is a very classic one but some of us have a lot of problems with that no tea no shade just facts it is not okay to date your best friends ex boyfriend or crush like that is off limits sis i don't even need to explain why it is just not cool it is not okay how would you feel if your friend did that to you if she would go be after your ex if she would go after your boyfriend your crush like if she would steal your crush really sis no we ain't doing that I shouldn't be explaining myself why not it is just off limits it's a no point blank period it's a no So the next one is for us party girls over here. If we get somewhere together, we are leaving together. We are not leaving behind friends that are drunk, that cannot walk and stand on their own feet. We're not leaving those behind, okay? We is not doing that. We always take care of each other. If one is more drunk than she should be, then just give her a warning when she is um, when she's sober again and tell her like you know what that shit that you pulled last night that was really not cool make sure you don't do that again because or otherwise you will not be joining us in the future but what we're not gonna do is just leave the friend on a train in the disco with boys that we don't know to just take advantage of her like it's a serious world out there girls like we is not doing this okay we is not doing this for the people who are starting university and things in college and whatnot like take care of each other we're not leaving each other behind how would you feel again how would you feel if you were in a position like that and your friends would just leave you behind like no sis no we're not doing that so by the way i have a quick little story time on that um there was one time that i used to go out a lot and i had like a few friends that i used to go out with a lot one of my friends used to like ask a lot of other people to join as well because she thought like the more people the more fun i guess and sometimes i agreed and sometimes i disagreed on that um but there was this amazing party that we decided to go to we were looking up to this party for so long like we bought new clothes we got our we got our hair done we got our nails did we did like everything to look like snacks okay we arrive at this party, we go to the bar, we buy our coins for us to get drinks and one of our friends that my friend invited, she goes dancing and she just puts her drink somewhere on a table. She didn't ask us to pay attention to her drink, so we didn't uh, and to be very honest, it wasn't like intentionally, we were just having fun and looking around and things and before we knew it, the friend comes back, she was finished dancing, she comes back, she takes her drink and she just drinks it and it didn't even take that long, I think, because we were not at the party for even an hour but this girl started to act like the freaking exorcist, okay? She was crawling on the floor, she was screaming and we were like, what the fuck is going on, you know? So we, everybody like got involved in it, like people from the party, security came and we needed to go to the door. Then eventually the ambulance came because this girl was just out of control, okay? The ambulance came and we needed to go to the ER to just figure out what was going on with her. And it turned out that they, like somebody just threw some party drug in her drink. Uh, I don't even remember what the name was, but you know, she just got drugged up. And this is something that will forever stick with me. She didn't ask us to pay attention to her drink. She just put it there and she left. 
uh, for the same part she could have like drank it all and just put the cup there I don't freaking know I didn't pay attention to it to be very honest but I felt really really bad when this happened yeah it, it, it's, it's just a messed up situation so to all the people who are going to college university whatever it may be just take care of each other like go out together and never leave without each other and pay pay a close mind to each other's drinks never like put a drink somewhere unsupervised supervised is that the word like that nobody's keeping an eye on it and just come back and drink it like please don't do that type of shit okay just don't the next one is to always check on your friend while she is on a first date Nowadays, you know, everybody's going on Tinder dates, on what kind of dates, Facebook dates, because people are just doing the most and making Facebook a dating app. I don't know what is going on with the world, where it is heading to, but that is all fine. But with that also comes like there are a lot of crazy people walking around and these apps just create a platform for psychos to just take advantage of your friend and friend also you need to take good care of yourself too always let someone know where you are and what you're gonna do don't just like be sneaky about things because you don't want people to know that you're like going on these apps just you know be a good friend and also tell your friends that you're going on a date one is to rescue a girl in public that you see being harassed by a creepy guy we're not gonna turn our heads away like oh no we didn't see this like no how would you feel if something like that would happen to you somebody is harassing you in public and another girl just walks by or a group of girls just walks by and just does nothing we're not gonna let that happen like not over here one time I have a story time on this as well like I was living in Rotterdam, like only bad things happen to me in Rotterdam, it's a good thing that I don't live there anymore. But okay, that is beside the point for now. I was living in Rotterdam, yeah? And I was sleeping. I was sleeping, it was very, very early in the morning and people just went out, but I was just a grandma already and I didn't go out, so I was just sleeping in my bed and I used to have weave that was very, very long. So what I would do is just uh, always like use these curlers so it would be easier to maintain my hairstyle. And I would sleep like in big t-shirts so I was sleeping and I remember that it was like becoming like spring and things or spring or summer I think and there was this girl like crying it's, it sounded like she was crying and her crying just woke me up and I heard her like saying no no and crying so I just woke up and I opened my window and I'm just trying to see what is going on and I see like this guy trying to take her purse oh no you don't you don't think that I was gonna let that one slide right so I get my head out of that window and I'm like hey just leave that girl alone okay let her go and he did of course he did like I, I had to stand up for that girl I was not gonna let him steal her purse after the guy ran off, I invited the girl in. I asked her like, are you okay? I gave her a glass of water and she promised me she was okay. And then she took her bike and she left. If you see somebody being harassed, then don't let that slide or like act as if your nose is bleeding and just walk like, oh no, none of my business, it ain't me. So no, don't, don't think like that. Like if it's you in that situation, you would, some, you would want somebody to stand up for you. The next one is a classic but and self-explanatory one, but still, this shit still happens, okay? So just let your friend know that you are dating one of her relatives, whether it's her brother, her uncle, her dad, what, whatever the case may be. Just ask for permission and don't go like behind her back and do those type of things because it's really awkward when this comes to light. And trust me, everything comes to light. Nothing that happens in the dark stays in the dark or at least not at all times. So just be safe in that situation and just tell your friend if she's not okay with it, then I just suggest you don't do it, of course. It's up to you to decide whatever you want to do, but I just don't recommend doing it if your friend said that it's gonna upset her Because at the end of the day, what are you gonna do? Like if 
things don't work out between between you and a guy like and there are so many guys out there did you really need it to get the one of her uncle or her brother like no 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 it's not necessary try to find another one like what is the problem mm -mm. there it's just off limits if she says it's off limits okay period <laughs> And the last one for today is to be there for your friend whenever she is dealing with a breakup. Of course, we all have this serial friend who is dating this one today and then tomorrow he's, she's dating Jacob and the, in another week she is dating Marco and then she is dating Luigi. Like, girl, mm -mm. You, you know, I, I can offer my services but I don't offer my services every single week for another guy. We're not doing that. Like, and if you also want to do like, you know, switch on and off and on and off, then that becomes a difficult situation as well. I mean, let's keep things in reason here. But if, you know, it's just a case that she's in a very bad breakup, I'm just not going to let you be there and just, you know, dwell in all your sadness. No, I'm going to take you out. Let's go do something. Let's go have coffee. Let's go forget about this. Let's have this Insta Instagram photo shoot let's show him what he has lost okay but of course it's, this is different when it's every week for another guy but you get what I'm trying to say right but that is it amiga for today's video these are all the points that I wanted to discuss for today there are more so if you want me to do like a part two of the girl code then let me know in the comments down below I would love to um, make sure you give this video a thumbs up and also make sure you subscribe to my channel for more videos from me and I'll see you soon in my next video Bye